harnessing the transformative power of saltwater rituals. Have you ever heard of the straightforward custom of writing your name in saltwater and waiting for amazing transformations? This video will show how, grounded in Buddhist principles, this practice might unexpectedly improve your life. Imagine drawing more harmony, serenity, wealth, and money with only a little ritual carried out at home. Here you will find how this exercise can open doors to what you really want and release fresh opportunities. Want answers for your present difficulties? Longing for a life more in line and plentiful? Then keep observing since we will go deeply into the secrets behind this old wisdom and expose how to apply it appropriately. Do you feel as though something is stifling your life? Would you like to try something different to draw what you desire? Let's learn together how to use the energy of salt water to synchronize ourselves with the cosmos and this exercise can be exactly what you need to reach your objectives. Don't forget to offer your like and subscribe to the channel before we begin. So you won't miss more transforming material like this. Comment under the sentence, I am ready to invite even more positive energy into your life. Deeply ingrained in many civilizations, including Buddhism, where the spiritual trip depends on purification and energetic realignment, the custom of writing your name in salt water is a spiritual one. Based on the idea that water, among the five elements of nature, can store and broadcast energetic information, this ceremony is conducted. Although salt is well known for its washing and purifying qualities, in Buddhist thought water symbolizes the clarity of mind, cleanliness and fluidity, so enabling one to adapt to the conditions of life. Combining salt with water produces a mixture that amplifies the effectiveness of spiritual and energetic cleaning. By adding your name to this mixture, you represent the surrender of your objectives, concerns, and wishes to the cosmos, therefore enabling the transforming power of this salt water to work deeply, releasing bad energy, and attracting positive vibrations and in line with your actual goals. This custom has advantages beyond only a basic act of superstition or faith. It is closely related to psychological and spiritual ideas on intention, focus, and metamorphosis. In Buddhism, the path to enlightenment is blocked by mental toxins including attachment, aversion, and ignorance. So the practice of purification is fundamental for their cleansing. By means of a physical tool, the saltwater ritual helps the practitioner to harmonize the mind and spirit, therefore enabling the elimination of bad thinking patterns, perhaps impeding personal or spiritual development. Writing your name and placing it in salt water is saying, to the universe your readiness to let go of what no longer serves you, so create room for the new, and connect with a higher frequency. This act can produce a strong psychological transformation whereby the person starts to recognize changes in their ideas, emotions, and finally in their reality. The ritual is a means to activate the subconscious mind in a process of healing and transformation, not only a symbolic one. Our strongest beliefs live in the subconscious mind. Many of them function outside of our awareness and affect our actions and results. This kind of ceremony helps you to send a strong message to your subconscious, therefore confirming your will to generate favorable changes in your life. In Buddhism, this corresponds with the concept that we are in charge of our own reality and that by means of mental transformation, our intentions and vibrations also alter the surroundings. Thus, the process of writing your name in seawater is a means of actively working with both internal and external energy to generate a field of attraction for anything we really want peace, wealth, love, or health. The saltwater ritual's capacity to be the focus point for meditation and awareness is still another crucial feature. Buddhist work stresses the need of being present and developing an aware mind that watches without attachment. Writing your name and submerging it in salt water can be done deliberately and slowly during the ceremony as a kind of active meditation. You can concentrate on your intentions, seeing your objectives, and what you want to draw into your life. As you travel through these phases, this condition of conscious awareness helps the practitioner to eliminate distractions from the mind and concentrate on what really counts, therefore strengthening the link between him and the cosmos. 
This constant practice might help one develop a calmer, more focused, and receptive mental state to welcome the blessings and chances that might present themselves over time. Therefore, however basic, the custom of writing your name in salt water is one full of spiritual depth and transforming power. It combines basic Buddhist ideas such as the purifying of the spirit and the mental metamorphosis. This practice can work as a trigger for major transformations for people looking for a way to match their energies and materialize their wishes. It is a dedication to one's own spiritual and emotional development as much as a symbolic deed. It is evident as more individuals relate their success stories with this ritual that rituals like this combine intention, action, and energy and have great and subdued power. Including this ritual into your spiritual practice will help you to open doors to a new reality in which the universe hears and responds to your intents and wants. Before starting the custom of writing your name in salt water, you should realize that appropriate preparation is just as crucial as the deed itself. In Buddhism and other spiritual disciplines, preparation generates the required condition of mind to establish close connection with the ritual. First, you will need a glass or ceramic container, better still than plastic or metal containers, since these can interfere with the energies we are seeking to attract and clean. Selecting a clear container also represents openness of intentions and clarity, thereby enabling you to see the process of cleansing under progress. Furthermore, crucial is a peaceful and tidy location for the ritual since your mental and energetic condition is immediately influenced by the surroundings. Pure water is the second absolutely important item. Whether it is mineral or filtered water, the most crucial aspect is that it is pure, therefore reflecting the clarity of mind and soul. In many spiritual traditions, water is regarded as one of the most strong elements since it can absorb and spread intents and vibrations. In the Buddhist setting, water is employed in rites to bless, purify, and cleanse. Applied in the ceremony, it provides a means of channeling the intentions you want to materialize. You should be in a peaceful, concentrated, positive mental state when preparing the water so that you can clearly picture what you desire to accomplish with the ceremony. The second vital component is salt. Ideally, it should be coarse or sea salt which is well known for its energizing and purifying effects. In the spiritual setting, salt has been utilized for millennia to balance out negativity and erect defenses against unwelcome forces. Salt increases the capacity of water to protect and clean when combined with it. The mixing should be done deliberately with awareness and gradual pace. Every movement should be deliberate, thereby underlining your creation of a potent tool for cleansing. This helps you to already be attracting the energy you wish into your life. Apart than these supplies, you will need a pen and some paper. The paper depicts the area where your intentions will come to pass. Here you will pen your name, or the name of the person carrying out the ceremony together, with the goals you wish to manifest. Writing your name on a piece of paper is a form of personalization, a gesture that carries a unique and directed energetic charge. In Buddhism, the act of writing can also be seen as a gesture of creation, where you are defining your destiny. While writing your name and intentions, it is important to keep your mind clear and positive, visualizing your desires as already fulfilled and thanking the universe in advance for the blessings to come. Another important part of the preparation is the mental and spiritual state of the practitioner before starting the ritual. Take a moment to connect with your breath and enter a meditative state. In Buddhism, meditation is used to achieve a peaceful and focused state of mind, which is ideal for practice. Take a few deep breaths, allowing each exhalation to release any tension or negative thought that could interfere with the process. This mental preparation is crucial because your intentions and desires will be potentiated. By the clarity and purity of your mental state, by being fully present and aware during the ritual, you open a direct channel of communication with the universe. It is helpful to have a sacred space or altar where the ritual can be performed. This space does not need to be elaborate, but should be clear, clean, organized, and free of distractions. It can include candles, crystals, incense, or other spiritual items that resonate with you. The idea is that this is a space that you associate with peace, tranquility, and positive energy. 
This environment, combined with all the carefully prepared materials and your mind, creates a powerful vibrational field that amplifies the impact of the ritual. Remember, by preparing both the environment and the materials, and your mind, you are creating a space where your inner being can align with universal forces, allowing the intentions you placed in the salt water to manifest with more clarity and power. The first step of the ritual is to choose a quiet moment, preferably in a calm and silent environment where you can be completely present and focused. In Buddhism, the moment of execution of any spiritual practice is fundamental as it directly affects the energy you are trying to channel. Before starting, it is important to clear your mind of any worries or distractions. Breathe deeply a few times to center your mind and body. It is advisable to perform the ritual at a time of day, when you feel more connected to yourself. For some people, this may be early in the morning, when the mind is fresh, or at night when the environment around is more serene. This choice of time can significantly influence the effectiveness of the ritual. With the environment and time defined, begin the ritual by writing your name on a piece of paper. In Buddhism, a person's name carries powerful spiritual energy as it is closely linked to their identity and essence. Writing your name is an act of materializing intention. Along with your name, write a specific affirmation or desire that you want to manifest, such as inner peace, financial prosperity, or emotional healing. The writing should be done slowly and consciously, focusing on each word as if you were planting an intention in the universe. Visualize the realization of these desires as you write, keeping your mind clear and positive. This concentration is essential to channel your energy into the practice. The next step is to take the prepared container with salt water. Hold the paper with your name and desires in your hands, and before placing it in the water, close your eyes and do a brief meditation. Connect deeply with your heart and with the intentions you wrote. Imagine the water as a channel of pure energy, ready to receive and amplify your intentions. In Buddhism, visualization is a powerful practice because it helps the mind create a desired reality. Inhale and exhale deeply, feeling the energy flowing inside you and around the paper. When you feel ready, gently place the paper in the salt water, visualizing the negative energies dissolving and your intentions being sent to the universe. As you place the paper in the water, it is important to maintain focus and spiritual connection. Watch the paper slowly being absorbed by the salt water. This is a moment of deep introspection and silence. Allow yourself to feel the power of the moment. The paper now carrying your intentions is being purified and energized. Visualize your intentions being absorbed by the water and radiating out to the universe as waves of positive energy. If you feel the need, you can repeat out loud or in your mind an affirmation or mantra that reinforces your intention. Such as, I am open and ready to receive all the blessings the universe has for me. This act of repetition creates a constant vibration that aids in manifestation. After a few minutes of meditation and visualization, leave the container with the water and paper to rest in a quiet place for at least 24 hours. During this period, the energies of the salt water will continue to work, cleansing and amplifying your intentions. In Buddhism, the concept of patience and detachment is very important. The practitioner must trust the process and not become obsessed with the result. The paper may begin to dissolve in the water. This symbolizes the release of your intentions to the universe. It is a way of letting go, trusting that what you asked for is now in the hands of the universal flow. You may choose to cover the container with a light cloth to protect the ritual while it takes place. After 24 hours or more, finish the ritual by removing what remains of the paper and discarding the salt water. This disposal should be done respectfully. It can be poured on the ground in a garden or in a natural place. In Buddhism, the element of earth is seen as a symbol of stability and nourishment, which helps plant your intentions in the universe. When doing this, express gratitude out loud or in your mind for the purification and alignment that the ritual provided. Expressing gratitude is a powerful practice that helps maintain a high vibration. You may feel a sense of peace, lightness, or even an immediate energy shift. This is the time to reflect on the experience and continue to cultivate what you asked for, 
keeping faith in the process. After performing the ritual of placing your name in salt water, it is natural to wonder what to expect and how to interpret the signs that may appear in your life. In Buddhism, it is believed that the energy you emit returns to you in some way. And this also applies to spiritual practices like this ritual. The first signs that the ritual is working can be subtle, such as a feeling of peace or lightness, more vivid dreams, or a sudden insight into a challenging situation. These small signs are indicative that the energies have started to move and realign in your life, creating space for what you truly desire. It is important to stay attentive and aware of these small signs, as they can be the beginning of greater transformations. In addition to the subtle signs, more noticeable changes may occur in your environment or life circumstances. In the Buddhist context, the concept of cause and effect is essential. What you plant in terms of intention and action will have a corresponding return. After the ritual, you may notice that people, opportunities, or situations begin to align unexpectedly, paving the way for new possibilities. It could be a casual encounter with someone who has an important opportunity for you, a creative solution to an old problem, or even a sense of renewal in your personal relationships. These changes are not coincidences, but reflections of the energy you set in motion through the ritual. However, it is important to be aware that not all changes that occur immediately after the ritual will be perceived as positive. Sometimes the purification process can bring up issues or emotions that need to be faced and resolved before true blessings can manifest. In Buddhism, this idea is known as the emergence of purifying karma, where obstacles arise not to punish you, but to help you grow and free yourself from old patterns. If you encounter challenges after the ritual, consider them as opportunities to practice acceptance, patience, and self-reflection. Facing these difficulties may be a crucial step in the journey of energetic and spiritual alignment. To fully understand the impact of the ritual, self-reflection is essential. In Buddhism, the process of looking inward and reflecting on our actions, thoughts, and feelings is a central practice. After the ritual, Take some time to meditate and contemplate what you feel and have noticed. Ask yourself, what changes am I noticing? Or, how can I align even more with what I want to manifest? Keep a journal to note your thoughts, feelings, and any signs or synchronicities you perceive. This process not only strengthens your spiritual practice, but also gives you a clearer understanding of how the ritual is influencing your life and spiritual growth. It is also essential to consider repeating the ritual as part of your ongoing spiritual routine. In Buddhism, regular practice is fundamental to cultivating a calm mind and an aligned spirit. Depending on how you feel after the initial ritual, it may be beneficial to repeat the ritual at regular intervals, such as weekly or monthly, to reinforce your intentions and maintain a positive flow of energy. Each time you perform the ritual, you are reaffirming your commitment to your own growth and evolution. Additionally, each new practice allows for further reflection, enabling adjustments in your intentions and a deeper understanding of your spiritual path. Finally, it is important to remember that gratitude plays a crucial role in any spiritual practice, including the saltwater ritual. Thanking the universe, the energies, and yourself for the process of transformation is essential to keep the vibration high and attract even more good things. Gratitude creates a cycle of energetic reciprocity. By expressing gratitude, you are actually raising the frequency of your intentions and preparing to receive more. End your reflections always with a moment of gratitude, recognizing that you are on the right path, and that every step you take, no matter how small, is bringing you closer to the life you wish. Maintaining an attitude of gratitude and positivity is crucial to continue vibrating in the frequency of your intentions after the ritual. Gratitude is a powerful practice that elevates vibration and strengthens the energetic field around your intentions. One tip is to create a gratitude journal where you write down three things you are grateful for daily. This simple exercise can help maintain focus on the blessings already present in your life and attract even more. Also, being selective with the influences around you, such as people, environments, and content you consume, is essential to sustain this positive energy. Surrounding yourself with good energies, inspiring people, and harmonious environments 
will help keep your spirit elevated and maintain the necessary energetic alignment for manifesting your desires. If you enjoyed this video and felt it brought clarity and inspiration to your spiritual journey, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to follow more content that elevates your vibration. Also, share in the comments the affirmation, I keep my energy positive and my heart open to the blessings of the universe. This practice will help you reinforce your intention and attract even more good vibes into your life. See you next time. If you enjoy our content and want to support us, click on the Super Thanks button below. Your Super Thanks is not just a donation. It is a blessing that supports our mission to share the transformative journey of Jesus. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the video on your screen.